Hi, welcome back to Lewis Life Outdoors. I'm Josh. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about uh, lift and tilt actuators on your Bobcat. Uh, this customer today, he came out, he warmed his machine up, he got in it, he put his lap bar down, and pressed the push to operate button. The next thing you know, he's got a code for lift and tilt uh, out of center, the actuators. So let's talk about a little bit of your actuators, shall we? Okay. Here are your actuators. You have one for tilt and one for lift. So your lower one is going to be your lift. Your upper one or the top one is going to be your tilt. And in the very top section of your spool is auxiliary. Now, what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've took the liberty of removing the tilt actuator and you say well josh how do you know which one's uh the tilt and which one's the lift well bobcat has done something pretty nice for us they have uh the 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 top spool with your actuator on it has always been uh the tilt and the lower spool with the actuator on it has always been the lift so i remember t for top and l for lower lower lift t tilt anyway just something there i wanted to throw out for you guys and Easy, something that you can remember. Uh, anyway, I've went ahead and took the liberty of taking the uh, actuator off. And what I like to do, if you look right down in here, you can see the spool. Uh, if you take and put a punch or a screwdriver or something on that spool, I like to do that before you put an actuator on it. Make sure there's no debris uh, in that spool. I've seen debris get in there, hang that spool up. On the back side of the valve, you have a centering spring that will also, the bolt can come loose. And the next thing you know, you've got a out of neutral problem with your spool. So always take a screwdriver, a punch and put in the end of this spool, move it, make sure it moves freely. Uh, make sure it returns to center before you move forward with putting an actuator on. Next thing you can do down here where your wires your connectors come in to your actuators. You've got two of them, uh, and they're actually labeled for you. One that says top says tilt and lower lift. You can swap those two connectors. Swap the tilt connector with the lift connector and see if your code changes to a different actuator. And if it does, then you know that uh, your actuator itself is bad on the one that you removed, the one that you swapped. Um, that being said, the only other thing that you will have to do once you're finished, completed replacing this is the, uh, you'll have to get a hold of your local Bobcat dealer and you'll have to get them out to calibrate this thing. Uh, and once that's completed, you can go back to work. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like, share, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you next time on the next edition of... Lewis Life Outdoors. We'll see you next time.